Hey, what's going on? Well, I got a package in today. What it is, I'll let you know here in a few minutes, but I'm building a basically LS2 iron block. It's LK, uh, LQ4 uh, iron block I'm building for my uh, station wagon. And so far, I have pretty much pretty much everything. I have yet to assemble it because of the uh, bottom ends on at the machine shop getting balanced. So I'm still getting parts here and there. One of the parts I really needed was a throttle body. As you know, these LS engines, you have very limited choices when it comes to throttle bodies. Either you go by drive-by cable or drive-by wire. My setup is drive-by wire. But the intake I picked up was for a LS2, which is basically a drive-by wire setup. It's a bigger opening. I personally like it a little better than the actual LS1, which is basically like a three-bolt design, and the diameter of the intake is not that big. The LS2 is bigger. The LS2 intake is not really meant for performance. It's actually one of the sorriest, I guess, intakes out there. With a little porting, you probably get a little better out of performance you can get better performance out of it than possibly the LS1. Either way, as you know, choices are very limited for throttle bodies. Hell, a lot of these throttle bodies for the LS engines are, I think personally, they're overpriced for just a piece of... There's a lot of people online as well that don't really like the pricing for the throttle bodies. There's a lot of things on the LS engine as far as pricing goes for aftermarket parts which is ridiculously expensive one of those things are actually is also the intake uh, intakes are grand up almost cost $900 for an intake and really you have possibly three choices for intakes you got the fast intake you have I think what is the uh, shoot I, I don't even have the catalog here you only have very few choices for intakes for LS engines which is really sad to say because cell engines are so popular now you have basically the l brock fast and now you have msd three choices as far as intakes go i went with the stock one L, uh, stock ls2 engine and take the throttle body so it just he's he's ridiculously expensive but anyways going back to the subject at hand throttle bodies same thing you only have a few choices you have either l brock holly Nick Williams and fast and all of them cost upwards of $300 and plus depending on your setup so yeah what's going on now is on eBay they have what you call eBay throttle bodies which is can be 98 millimeter or 102 basically they're identical as far as looks of the throttle body look identical to the fast intakes this is a eBay throttle body much cheaper even comes with the sensors even comes with the auto air control valve and the throttle position sensor together in the box how much was this 100 bucks yeah think about it 100 bucks versus 300 dollars from a catalog but a lot of people are kind of skeptical how does it come in how does it ship in so this is basically an unboxing i just received this today as you can see it's got all Chinese lettering on it from Ch China. This came directly from China. Cover up my uh, information there, but it's all from China. It's pretty wrapped pretty well. I mean, it's it's in the black box, but they wrapped it up really, really tight. It even says here, do not upset if it's broken, the seal is broken. So, but. We're gonna crack this puppy open and we're gonna see what's inside this box if you're gonna ever thinking about getting an eBay throttle body. Unfortunately, I have no engine to install it in to find out what performance wise it, it it's capable of. So but that'll come in, in a few months, hopefully. Maybe less than that. Hopefully within the next month I'll have my engine running with this throttle body and I'll let you know how that turns out. But as far as this, this is an unboxing. Get my exacto knife out and let's crack this baby open if I can find a place to start because it's so sealed so tight. It's sealed very, very tight. So I'm gonna. Uh, looks like this is the bottom. It looks like the top. So let's go and start unzipping it here. Uh, 
packaging label. Oh, that came out pretty nice. I'm actually going to keep that just for prosperity. Suck the knife makes things so much easier. Okay, this is the top of the box. These nutters, I have no idea what they mean. Probably something out of China. But they're, they're not in Chinese. Regular American numbers. All right, I got that cut open already. This side should cut open. Yep, sure did. Now, looks like this side. Yep, sure does. So, uh -huh. <laughs> I found everything right in the right spot, I guess. So, I guess this side's still a little taped up. Yep, it is. Ta-da! Uh -huh. So it's basically a big box. Opening it up. Uh, what we got here? Receive, receiving inspection items. Please check packing and goods. Number two, confirm the goods are intact. Three, make sure the installation in use. Number four, problem with the products. And last one, leave feedback. Oh, isn't that isn't that cool? It's got like Japanese. It's like a like almost a postcard. Dear valued customer, thank you for your purchase. Thank you for selecting us. The items have been sent with care. We hope it arrived to you in time and you are satisfied with it. I hope so. Let's see here. At first, please check the back of the card. We have listed all the check items there. We have listed all the check items there. Well, nobody really checked it. It's still kind of blank. All right, uh, any problems, please contact us by sending this message via eBay so we can resolve the issue that may arise during our transactions. P.S. Please do not open the case or what or your question will get through eBay, then we'll delay. Yeah, that's no, that's really what it says. Let's see here, going back. Uh, we delay the time for us to get the message. We have posted positive feedback for you and hope you will do the same for us. We strive for five-star service. If you have a pleasant buying experience, hope you will leave a positive feedback with, uh, with five stars for your next order. Please contact us first if you can give you 5% discount as a gift to you. Thanks. Yeah, well, it's a nice, it is basically a postcard, essentially, in the backside. But... Uh, I think they need to work on their uh, on their wording because uh, <laughs> there's no spaces between the commas. Uh, the periods are really weird. It's 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 funny, but uh, hey, what well, that's what you get for buying stuff on eBay. That's from China. So, meat and potatoes here, nicely bubble wrapped. Looks pretty good. Yeah, definitely bubble wrapped really well. Box, nothing else. Put that aside. Get my exacto knife. Yeah, this thing bubble wrap really, really well. Quite surprising. Now I gotta find. Looks like an opening here. Mm, come on. I guess I wasn't that lucky that time. Here's the tape. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. This way, come this way, yep. The wrap is kind of weird, but I can you can see where they put the tape at. And really, just put the exacto knife right through it, and it'll just tear the tape right open. Like I said, it looks like they wrapped it really well. I I didn't see any any obvious stuff. Me. My bad. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely wrapped pretty good. A little nice little foam thing with bobber there. I uh, protected the uh, the shaft of the throttle body. Uh oh. Already I see a problem. Oh wait a minute. No. I take that back. Sorry. I take that back. And it feels pretty heavy. It doesn't feel like it's cheap aluminum. 
needs a little bit of cleaning, but anything that's come from mach fresh machining needs cleaning. But uh, I was going to say there's a problem because I didn't see the sensors, but the sensors are actually in here. And there they are. Definitely they are in there. You got the uh, four mounting screws for the uh, throttle body to intake. Actually gives you a little bit of uh, hardware here. I'm not sure if this hardware is for the actual sensors or for the... No, it's just for the sensors because the, the, it's got a different anti head size for the mount bolts. But these are basically the screws for the sensors. There is no... Well, let me see here. Let's take actually a good look at the sensor here. There's an AC label on it. Doesn't necessarily mean if it's an AC Delco or not, but you can take a look for yourself there. Let's see, get in focus. If you can get in focus there, yeah, there you go. There's an AC label there. So, doesn't, uh, of course, it's the, uh, yeah, I don't think you can see it in there, but there it goes now. I can see it. Three prong. Um, as far as the feel of it, it feels pretty good. Got a new O-ring in there. And yeah, definitely, I really shouldn't move that, but I just moved it just gently, just to make sure there's no, it's no, not, nothing in there. But yeah, it definitely feels some resistance in there, so I guess that's all complete. Let's uh, put that away. Again, hardware for mounting the sensors up. And here's the ID air control valve. This one does feel kind of light. And I'm trying to see if there's any identifying marks here. No, there's no identifying marks on this thing. But there is a. Uh, try to get it in focus there for you. Again, there's no identifying marks on it, it's just a outer control valve. Not sure this is supposed to be plastic. It feels like plastic. Yeah, most definitely. It's definitely plastic. The plunger is definitely plastic. I haven't picked one up from these from any of the parts stores, so I'm not too exactly sure if it's supposed to be plastic up here or not. But uh, it feels good. Doesn't feel like it's cheap or anything like that. The plastic looks really nice. I'm going to put that away. So, again, going back to the meat and potatoes over here. The throttle body. This thing's huge. <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Uh, it fits basically my whole hand in there. Damn. I wonder if they sent me the... Uh, I got to measure this. This may be a bigger one. They may have sent me the the 102 thought about it, or 105. I can't remember. This is... But this is huge. Um, of course, you got your vacuum there. Position where the throttle position and the idler control valve goes in there. Um... I don't know if you can see that, but you got some machining. You can see that piece of right there. You can see it right there. Piece of machining flashing that needs to be cleaned up. Again, we buy stuff on eBay, especially from China. You may have to clean it up, make a few adjustments here and there. But I think, personally, I think it should be just fine. The outer body looks a little dirty, just probably because of shipping. You can see a little bit of specks of dust and dirt. Get you the back side here. Again, dust and dirt. Again, I would just recommend washing it. Make sure you clean it. It's all clean and good. Um, I even haven't even opened it up. So yeah, see if it it's opens up. So let's see if it opens up. Oh, yeah. It's got plenty of tension. Yeah, plenty of tension on that spring. Looks like it's pressed in. Doesn't look like it's bolted on or anything like that. So... Hopefully that shouldn't give me any issues. There was one instance of a this spring. Oh, there it is. It, it's not pressed in. It's actually screwed in. You can see it back here. It's got the actual provision for the Allen head to tighten up on the shaft. Uh, there was inst one instance on online that I heard about the uh, this thing coming apart. So I'll probably just for the benefit of the doubt, just make sure this. Allen head is tightened up on there. Make sure it ain't gonna fall off in part. Uh, this is loose. I just met, felt it move, so you can position it anywhere you want. I'm assuming once you find the right position for this, you can put some Loctite in there, push it down, and it ain't gonna go anywhere. 
that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's fairly good. I mean, it, it looks feels and good. Feels pretty thick. The thought the spacing right here looks pretty thick. So how about we uh, bring my intake out? Well, actually, first what I'm gonna do, I gotta have a micrometer. I'm gonna mic this real quick because it looks huge. Like I say, it's about the size of, the size of my fist almost. That's huge. So I'm gonna bring out the micrometer, find out what the actual diameter of this is, and we'll be right back. All right, so I brought up my micrometer, and I even brought up my LS2 intake here. So we're gonna actually measure first what the actual diameter of this throttle body is. And since it's set up to millimeters, let's go and set that up to millimeters, zero this out. And survey says, at the end here, it says it's 91 millimeters. So, I guess it's not the bigger thought about it as I thought. I, probably, I was hoping probably they swapped it out for it, like 102 or 105 or 108, whatever. But uh, it is definitely a 90 millimeter, and that is freaking huge. I'll be honest with you, that is big. Uh, again, this is on the back side of throttle body. Like I said, it's 91.8. Uh, being 92 millimeter, it's only about a couple of thousands off, which be honest with you for machining purposes it's probably the right size because again it's it for 92 I got it actually right on right on 92 right there if you can see that and it just like barely almost wants to slide in but it, it definitely can again machining can be a little different but uh I believe it's not at least close to a 90 91 92 definitely 91 but uh, close to 92. So next, um, I'm gonna say I can mock it up here in my LS2 intake here. And I got a couple of bolts here. I do have a screwdriver. Again, this is just mock up purposes. Again, you can tell I don't even have the gasket on there because I'm actually cleaning this intake. And actually, to be honest, to be upon cleaning it, I scratched the top of these right here. Uh, you can probably see it, uh, but they're scratched. I, I kind of fucked up. I'm trying to find a way to clean them up. If not, I may I will as well paint this thing. But it's it's a work in progress. I'm still gonna port these things out, smooth them out because they need to be uh, in order for this LS2 intake to perform up to par to, like say, like the LS1s uh, intakes, stock intakes. Remember, this is stock. This is not a fancy, you know, fast intake because I think fast are kind of overpriced. So. I would love to see a China. <laughs> I would absolutely love to see a China-made LS intake that's comparable to fast intakes. That would be the shit. To be honest with you, I, I hope somebody would do that. But because this is basically a carbon copy of a fast intake or throttle body, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and mock this puppy up and see how she looks. Yeah, I'm just mocking in place. I'm not super tiny. I'm just mocking it in place. Always, when you do something like this, you always want to make sure you mock things in place. Don't just assume it's going to bolt right in. Uh, you never know. Machining, again, machining could be, always be a little different. Quality could be a little different. All that kind of stuff. do is actually keep it a little loose and see if there's any play on it. Yeah, there's quite a bit of play on it. In other words, it's not centered, but then again, I don't have everything centered, so. But once the throttle body opens up, nope, no interference at all, so. That's what I was kind of worried about, too, if, it, if there's going to be any interference with the original stock intake, if I have to open up the throttle body housing or anything like that. But no, it looks like everything's going to be good. Like I so said, there's a little bit of play up and down, side to side. But I think once you get it pretty much centered, you'll be able to get this thing on there right, right and clean. For me, I'm gonna probably move this toward the back. Again, I can remove this and position it any way I want. But uh, it looks, it looks so cool like that, you know. For about hundred bucks with the sensors, yeah, you can't go wrong. So that being said, I still gotta install this in a running engine. Hopefully I get my engine together sometime this month, get it together. I already have the wire harness, I already have the computer flashed. 
basically got to just power everything up, get it lubed up, primed, and she she runs with this throttle body, and that should be all she wrote. I mean, it looks by the looks at this, it looks pretty good. The quality feels great. The aluminum doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like really lightweight aluminum. Like it's for like really, you, you felt. I'm sure you guys felt really lightweight aluminum, where it looks just really flimsy. And it looks like it's gonna break. No, this one actually feels pretty damn good. Everything else, sensors again. Sensors look okay. Nothing to be, nothing that I have any concerns of. Of course, I still gotta put the sensors on there, and make sure the holes line up. I know there's some reports of some of the sometimes the sensors don't line up on the aftermarket china it, a throttle body so that being said i think this is a good deal i think it's a great deal i haven't i really have, haven't heard any bad performance problems with these throttle bodies maybe on the initial runs these are already been in production for about i say about two years already and i'm assuming from that point when they had the first run of throttle bodies they had a little bit of issues but i think now they finally got it down to a, a science where they know how to put these things together and, and get them well made so that being said guys thank you so much for watching my youtube video on an unboxing of a china ls throttle body and like i said it feels good it feels nice the bracket feels good too i don't have a weight scale well actually you know what i do have a weight scale let me go about with weight scale and we'll weigh this thing that way we can probably compare it to your uh a fast throttle body all right, I have, uh, it's cheesy, but it's a basically a, you know, weigh scale for food and whatnot. But it, it should do the trick for seeing how much the thing weighs. And right now it's set at, now let me make a correction here. Make sure it's in at zero. This goes in ounces and pounds, so let's see how much this thing weighs. It weighs at almost two and a half. Two and a half pounds. So yeah, it, it's it's pretty heavy. Well, now I'm not saying heavy, heavy, but it's it doesn't feel it's not a cheap aluminum that's in there. It's it's pretty good aluminum. So the two and a half pounds, yeah, I think that's that's pretty good quality aluminum. So again, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully, whatever you buy on eBay, I'll actually leave the buyer or excuse me, the, the yeah the seller for this on my description below, and see if you guys have any luck with these. Again. I always recommend washing these things out before you install them because they come they come with a lot of debris and like I said they have there's a burr in here you got to clean out. So make sure you always clean these out before you install them. Don't just put them out of the box and install them because that that it could end up disastrous. But either way, that being said, rum 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 rum. Bye bye.